Shalom Israel. It's your brother JD Nijah back with a message of edification and exhortation to the children, Yasharala, family of Israel, the Native Americans, Latinos, so called Negroes, West Africans, and the peoples of South America, these are the tribes of Israel. Um, today's message is about um, what it means to be a servant and what it means to enter into the kingdom. So before I get started, All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, Yahweh our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, whose name means the one who is going to deliver. The Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit, gives us this power, knowledge, and wisdom to push out these messages and truth in these dangerous and perilous times that we live in. Okay, so. The message is from Matthew 20, 2020. What do you know? 2020. I didn't notice that when I opened, but there you have it. Okay. No surf again today. Cold. One foot. Beautiful weather. So I'm just going to read this. It's um, from the St. Matthew chapter 20, verse 20. And the title of the chapter is The Request of James and John's Mother. Verse 20, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee, children with her sons worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him and he said unto her what wilt thou and she said unto him grant that these my two sons may sit the one on thy right hand and the other on thy left in thy kingdom but Yahweh answered and said you know not what you ask are you able to drink of the cup? This is red letter. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said unto him, We are able. Verse 23, And he said unto them, You shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But you sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of by my Father. Verse 24, And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren, their two brothers. But Yehoshai called them unto him and said, You know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them and they that are great exercise authority upon them but it shall not be so among you but whosoever will be great among you let him be your minister verse 27 and whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Verse 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. So, Mom came for John and James, came before Yehoshai and said, Let him sit on each side and let him be exalted with you on your throne. And Yahweh I told him, 
you don't even know what you're asking for. You don't even know the cup you're going to have to drink, meaning to serve in the kingdom isn't about, to be exalted in the kingdom isn't about grabbing something and, and putting yourself up there. It's about serving the Lord's people in a way that you can't help but be exalted. I remember back when I was in Plantation Christianity, um, I did a disciple class. It was um, weeks and weeks, and and it was, went through five different, five different, what do you call them, classes or whatever. That were like six weeks long each one so it was it was it's a lot of work and a lot of good uh, knowledge got pushed out because we were just in the Bible which made it very enjoyable in a lot of ways also but the point I'm trying to make here is at the end of um, when we finally graduated we had to um, get up and do a sermon in front of the congregation, right? So this was one of uh, one of the scriptures that that I wrote on is um, Yahushai came to serve, not be served. And he came to minister, not to be ministered to. And the sacrifice that we are, as men of the Lord, as the 144,000 elect, as the ones that will, will be in the kingdom, it's not, it's not some easy path. It's not... It's not like, oh, I hung out with the Haushai, I get to be up with the... You never know who the Father's gonna, gonna put up and take down. Like Saul got taken down, the first king of Israel, and David got put up. Saul was first, but <laughs> he's probably gonna be closer to last unless his spirit came back and, and redeemed itself. Saul might be on the planet right now, redeeming himself as one of the um, 144 elect in the regeneration. So the, the point of the message here is that um, when this temptation and tribulation comes down on us, the Father is going to set up those men that are pushing this word out and the father is going to exalt the men that are working to minister to the people because Yahushai already had he already had his position he didn't need he, he was trying to explain to them your position is already set if you if you've set your heart in those ways, just like the Lord told David, or he told Samuel, um, I want David to be my king because he is a man after my own heart. It's your heart, it's where your heart resides that's going to um, place you in your lot. And you know, at this point, I listen to a lot of messages and I love the word of the Lord because it's true and it's faithful and it's not bullshit, it's not lies like all this other crap that we go through. 
and um, like Matthew 20 20 is pointing out here I'm not here to be ministered to anymore I'm here to minister out to others sure I can be rebuked sure I can be reproved sure I can be um, edified by the word There goes my ex-customer. <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> Hate to say it. But uh, she wasn't very kind to me over the years. So that's the message today. Know that um, no one could advocate for you. Mommy or daddy can't put you up where you need to be. No one can, no one can go to you how and say anything. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to do what he wills. And um, Yahweh Shai didn't come to be ministered onto. He came to minister onto the others. He didn't come to be served. He came to serve. All praise is honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem, Rakakudash, the 144,000. Elect under construction, building this new Jerusalem, this temple of the new kingdom, the one third remnant that are going to make it up out of here, and uh, the two third that'll come into the kingdom as Metzat Israelites. This is your brother, JD Nijah. Serving, not being served. Shalom.